Hey everyone, we're going to see how to configure cross-origin resource sharing, otherwise known as cores, in a Node.js with Express Framework application. So if you're unfamiliar with cores, it's that thing that happens when you have an API and you try to access it from a front-end client, uh, more particular browsers, from a different host or a different port you'll often receive errors if cores was not um, configured to allow your remote host. Um, so by default in a Node.js application using Express, um, all external domains uh, and sites are blocked, but we're gonna configure it so that way they're not. Um, and use your best judgment on what you need for your application. Um, maybe you need all sites to be able to access, maybe you need some, maybe you need none. Um, that's for you to decide. Um, so I am on my desktop with my terminal. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call it, um, let's call it Cores Project. And inside of Cores Project, uh, I'm going to navigate in and I'm going to initialize a new Node.js project. So I'm going to say npm init y. And I'm going to install Express Framework. All right, with Express installed, uh, what I want to do is I want to create a new file for uh, our code. I'm going to call this app.js, uh, and I'm going to open up this project with uh, an editor. So I'm just going to be using Atom. Feel free to use whatever you want. With this project open, I'm going to open up app.js, and I'm going to start importing uh, my, my Express framework. So I'm going to say constant. I'm going to say Express equals require Express, so what we've just downloaded. I'm going to say constant app equals express. Um, so I'm going to instantiate it. And then I'm going to say app.listen. And I'm going to listen on port 3000. And then I'm also going to print out a message saying that I'm listening. So I'm going to say console.log uh, listening at 3000. So very simple. Uh, I am going to add one endpoint here just to show you how an express application might look so that way everything kind of comes together. So I'm going to say app.get, this is just a root endpoint, and I'm going to say request response. And as far as the response goes, we're going to say response.send hello world. So very simple application. So if I ran this, um, it would run. Um, and it would run on port 3000. Now let's say I ran a React app or an Angular or Vue.js app on port 4000 um, and I tried to access this API. Uh, well, we're going we're gonna to get errors because they're not allowed. This is on you're only allowed to access this application if you're also running on port 3000 from the local host. Um, so there are two, two good ways to do this. There may be other ways, but I've, I've only ex experienced two. Um, one way is if we don't want to install any other middleware, uh, what we can do is we can define cores manually. So we're going to say app.use, we're going to say request, response, next, and inside of this we're going to define the responses. So we're going to say response.header, we're going to say access, control, allow, origin and we're going to say asterisk. So by saying this, what we're doing is we're saying all origins are allowed. Now, if you wanted specific origins to be allowed, uh, well, for the, for the other item in this, in this list, uh, it would be whatever, whatever domains you want to be allowed. And there could be several of them in these quotes, separated by comma. Uh, now let's say we want to specify what headers we want allowed. So we'll say response.header. We'll say access, control, allow headers and this time around we're going to list a few so we're going to say origin x requested with and we'll say content type these are just common ones um, you may need more like authorized and, and things like that um, feel free to use whatever headers you feel you need uh, as far as part of your uh, course configuration Finally, after we've done that, we can say next. Now, if I were to run this application, uh, and I could, let's let's go ahead and run it. We'll say node app.js is listening on port 3000. Um, if I were to run this now um, and 
all of my other kind of client front ends followed these rules um, of whatever was allowed and whatever headers were allowed, then they would not receive errors when they tried to access my API. If they if they didn't follow these rules, um, then yeah, they're going to receive errors. So that's one way to go about doing business. Uh, the other way, and I'm going to comment this out um, because it won't be used in the second method. Um, the other way, and this is definitely convenient when it comes to prototyping, um, but I think uh, it's used in production as well. Um, we would install a middleware package. So we'd say npm install cores and then hyphen hyphen save so it gets added to the package JSON. So cores is a middleware uh, that takes kind of the heavy lifting out for us. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna say constant cores equals request cores. And now what we can do is instead of this app.use block that we had previously created, we can say app.use and we can say cores. Just like that. And if we run it again, uh, at this point in time, everything is open to the public. Um, so I believe you can you can add your own, uh, and this is actually course uh, without the E. I believe you can add your own uh, configuration to this course. Um, I've only ever used it like this, which is course. Um, or you could always define your configuration manually uh, without the course middleware. That's perfectly fine too. Um, and just to recap, uh, this is so that way your API or, or web application that you make with Node can be accessed from other client front ends that are not sharing the same host and port. Um, so it, it is a necessity. Uh, so it depends on your needs, though, in the end.